Hello there all, uh, welcome to another Arc 20 torture video, uh, on this blistering August day, and I'm using my webcam microphone to record, so the audio is not going to be the best, and apologies for that, uh, it's pretty, it's very warm, for me anyway, I mean, from where I, where I'm from, it's warm, <laughs> and take a look at the weather, and E, and, uh, Ontario. Let's see, we got yeah, forty-nine percent humidity. That's the muzzle cut it with a knife. Feels like eighty-eight degrees. Yeah, it feels more like eight thousand degrees, but that's close enough uh, for a uh, area this size. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about the almost an oxymoron. Uh, arch Linux maintenance, and what I like to do, I, I frequently do these uh, points here that I have, and uh, I'll upload these to, uh, what's that place? GitHub. That's it. And you can just uh, copy and paste whatever is relevant to you that you want to use. Uh, first thing I always uh, install on any Arch system is NCDU, or N Curses Disk Uses Analyzer. And most of the stuff that I look for or like garbage or not really garbage but just core dumps and stuff is in the VAR directory so that's a very very important tool that I use just to clean up some stuff so you open the terminal you don't even have to be sudo uh, just uh, ncdu slash VAR and you see the uh, lib and the log so the log would be your uh, journal log size approximately uh, lib would be the cap, uh, uh, pack name, packages, and system D. And the cache, usually that gets, uh, can get very large, uh, the pack name packages, but uh, you can run a command to uh, get rid of those if, if you don't want um, them sitting on your system. It's harmless. The only, the only drawback would be if you. If there was an update or something and it didn't work, you might be able to roll it back, but that's that's the only thing I found that might happen. Um, on occasion, um, or actually quite often, if I'm running into some problems, is I just remove the cache. So just rm r dot cache and star asterisks. I'm not going to do that now because I'm recording just in case. And on occasion, um, Dot thumbnails and asterisk set. So most of it's self-explanatory. Uh, once you, you know, if you want to use these kind of techniques or whatever, I also limit the size of the journal. Um, it'll take up approximately ten percent of whatever your hard drive is, so fifty gigs. Uh, it'll be five gigs if you let it go by itself. So I usually uh, pseudo nano system D journal D dot conf and the system max use you uncomment this with the pound sign and put like something like fifty megabytes. It's approximately fifty megabytes, but I'm only grow into gigabytes. And um, you don't have to do anything, just maybe review it if you wish, but it's it'll work itself out uh, through the system D uh, timers. Uh, another package I always get is Locale Purge, uh, just to remove unneeded uh, language packages. And that can be, you know, fairly sizable um, after a while if you hadn't used it before. And uh, it's fairly straightforward. It'll tell you what to do if you run uh, sudo. You have to run it as super user or sudo. Sudo is better for your user. Uh, sudo Locale Purge, and it'll show you what to do in the instructions. Uh, for cleaning out browser stuff, uh, not deleting cookies or anything like that, but just the uh, databases that we create, uh, you can use Browser Vacuum. Uh, that's a new one I found, or Profile Cleaner. Uh, Profile Cleaner uh, covers more browsers, basically. But uh, I usually uh, set up my alias, so I run uh, Browser Vacuum BV. There you go. So. It's usually about that eight megs or so, uh, because it's uh, it's usually uh, Firefox that's doing all this. Uh, it's use SQLite databases 
and cookies, but it doesn't delete, you know, your preferences or anything, just, just the databases. And the cache is the, obviously what I mentioned before, the remove cache. Uh, you can instruct Firefox and Chromium to use uh, the cache as in a temp directory. Uh, the Firefox is built in, and it'd be about config, and uh, for Chromium you create a file in your .config, not, not Google Chrome, but Chromium. Uh, called the uh, chromium dash flags dot clnf and all you put in is this uh, dash cache dash dir equals slash temp dot cat uh, slash cache so it goes into your temp folder and I'll upload that as well in the notes uh package browser I, I love this program <laughs> It's in the iTunes user repository, and uh, it's under somewhere. Here it is, package browser. Initializing, please wait. And so it's synchronizing the mirror list. There we go. Okay. Um, usually I use this a lot for the include AUR, and then now I just press F5, and just to the sync, and I check for updates. You see there's nothing there, so everything's up to date, but if there's an Arch Linux user repository file, if it needs to be updated, it'll be in here. And it has just an explicit install. You can uh, copy the list, your show statistics, and which is cool, is it shows you how much in the megabytes sized and what's taking up what. And the, the repository, so from core, from extra, community, and so on. It's a, it's a really neat utility. It doesn't actually install any updates, it just informs you. And you can get information about the packages and whatever, backup, the cache, if it's there. And sometimes just you have to get a bit of, a bit of time for it to uh, load. Alright, uh, I just had a question not too long ago about uh, a package not downloading. Um, from the official Arch Linux repositories. Uh, what I was going to suggest, so I'm also put this in the video, is to check for out of sync mirrors if there's a country, your country is out of sync, and you can uh, sort by country for the mirrors, and you can see them uh, how much has been updated, the time delay, approximately two hours behind whatever the official packages are, so it's not too bad, and how many mirrors there are. And if you go to the Pac-Man mirror list generator, use HTTP and IP4 version. But this one, use mirror list status and select your country and generate lists. And so my country, that's the one that's most up to date and synced. It might not be the fastest, but it is matches exactly uh, how much 100% up to date is approximately two hours behind. Okay, so make sure you have that uh, updated and you just uh, zero, you can use bad G edit, uh, whatever you want, nano, then. Uh, so sudo leafpad etsy pack name dot d slash mirror. Whoops, I'm sorry, mirror list. And you see, this is what I have. And I have a reflector script, I just call it mirrors, and the country. Protocols, HTTP, and sort uh, file lists, and 24 hour um, age, how old it is. And you see it pretty much matches what I just, we just saw in the mirror list generator and in the uh, mirror list status. So very important uh, to keep that up to date. That's most of the maintenance I do. Basically, and then just uh, troubleshooting. I use journal control, just usage. That's the parameter you set in the configuration. Like I said, it's an approximate, and it's, it'll show you the same thing in the NCDU command. And system control failed. I rarely get those. It's, it's my fault most 99% of the time. Um, and it's usually me forgetting to, to uh, load the v virtual box module. 
Um, I use the FS trim manually, file system trim on a solid state drive. Don't try to run it well, it'll just fail on the hard drive, the can of hard drive. FS trim has root uh, slash, you just put a slash for your file system, uh, and then verbose, it spits out what it's done, discarding whatever um, it has to sell. And on the pack name, aliases and stuff, um, I'm not sure if this is on the Arch Linux uh, documentation anymore, uh, but I've kept this for quite a number of years now. And those are my aliases pack to the Pac-Man guys, S, and so on. And the pack row is to remove dependency orphans that are no longer new. Those mostly are pretty much all of the, the dependency orphans are from packages that are built from the Arch Linux user repository that you no longer need. So it's a great command, pack row. And uh, there's other stuff, informational, like uh, pack i, gives you information about a package. So pack i, uh, say, audacity. And it gives you the information, the name, repository, groups, provides, de dependencies, conflicts, Download size, install size, the packager, the build dates, uh, the MD5, and so on. Just basically all the most of the information you're going to need. Uh, there's the URL. You can either copy and paste or just uh, say open link, whatever uh, works for your browser. And uh, for Yaoart, I don't include Yaoart commands in here anymore. But if you want to get, say, uh, information on that, it's basically the same thing, Yaoart dash s information dash si say the package browser pkg now probably won't show as much information but it gives you more of an idea and it just shows you the arch linux user repository slash packages database girl votes out of date no and so on and to optimize the database uh the pacman database and stuff is the alias pac o so you can see here, pseudo pacman dash craft plus sc and and pacman dash optimize. So dco, you know, say that cache directory. Do you want to remove all other? Do you want to remove all other packages from the cache in the cache? And say yes. Uh, remove the old uh, unused repositories, yes. And then it, uh, you can see what it's doing, old database, and then sync in the database, and it's been optimized. Pretty neat stuff uh, for uh, just the uh, command line, basic. So I think that should cover it, most of it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's, you probably don't need to do all of this, but I like to check things a lot and see what's going on. Um, if something seems wrong, I try to investigate it. And a lot of times it's just basic maintenance, just cleaning out things you don't need anymore. Um, and your home folder too, you gotta check for rogue packages you don't have installed anymore. Um, for example, I had VMware Player, and there's still a VMware dot VMware file in there, so you're gonna watch it so you unhide your, uh, you know, the hidden folders, the dot files in your file manager, and delete any ones that are really to a program you did have installed. Okay, so that should do it. A, a bit of Arch maintenance and uh, uh, monitoring, I guess. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a great evening. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.